Everyone we set out with, just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. You can't blame yourself. We all made mistakes. Yeah, some of us more than others. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting. But only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Oh, token. Go on. Hello. <laughs> I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. Yeah, that's pretty creative. It ain't about being clever. It's about honoring a good man. And giving the boy someone to look up to. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Cause I think I'm alright. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. <laughs> you shouldn't have to do stuff like this. But oh. shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. It's okay. I trust you. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. We saw to that, didn't we? Don't worry. It can't be that bad. I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. So, this is going to hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. <laughs> Holy fucking hell! <laughs> you need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. I should have gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Junior here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go?
Let's head out. Is that it? Oh, God. Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. There's still more walk. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen! This guy fucked us! <sighs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he <laughs> likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. <laughs> Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. Well, that's cool. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion. All it being your birthday and all, figure, this is as good a time as any. I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. I feel a little guilty taking the first... Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. 
Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah, maybe later. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. That has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that'd explain a few things. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey! Alright, all right, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. That, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. The both of you. <laughs> Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. Well, thank you, Clem. I do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this will change their minds. At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clam. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time He's away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. <laughs> 